All right, today we're doing Vardorvis post quest. Uh, there's a couple things that are really helpful in this fight. The first thing you can see, uh, you can probably see, I've uh, shrunk my window a little bit, just so that the uh, the distance between my clicks for turning on prayers and uh, and whatnot is closer to the tiles. That just has been helping me recently. And also, there's uh, a plugin that you have to get off the hub called Better NPC Highlight. This will help you highlight the axes and the little head that pops up that shoots the uh, uh, ranged attack that disables your prayers. And what you're going to want to do is under True Tile, uh, enable it first of all. You have to check the check mark. And then under True Tile IDs, it's you enter 12,225, comma space, 12,227, set it to whatever color you want. That will highlight the axes, just makes it easier to see where they are actually going to hit. Uh, and then under Hull, um, you enable that as well, Hull Highlight, and enter in Vardorvis's head and just change it to some color that's obvious, probably a different one than the axe color. And you can make these whatever you want, but I'll put that in the chat. Uh, and then uh, also I've highlighted three tiles here. Uh, I, I only use these three in this guide, try to keep it simple. Uh, you can avoid most damage with these three tiles. And if you want to get more advanced, I'm sure you can, but this is a brain dead guide for people like me that don't want to think too hard. So uh, when you get to the fight, uh, you can bring a spec weapon. It's kind of optional, I guess, but even like a DDS would be fine. Um, I brought D-Claws because it was the best one that I had. Bring a Super Combat, some some food. You can see that I brought uh, Mantas and uh, the you know Karambon, whatever, to keep, just to keep myself topped off. And then I also use Thralls just because they give you some extra damage, consistent damage, and uh, you're not going to use Mage for anything else. So I, I use a Ghost uh, as usual. Bring your best slash weapon. Uh, the Fang is probably the most important part of the entire setup here. Uh, if you have to, if you're trying to grind this boss, sell whatever to get a Fang. The rest of the gear doesn't matter as much, honestly, uh, just for the accuracy. Um, so we're going to get started here. You pot up, uh, get your Ghost out, pray, protect melee and piety, and attack him. And then you're going to stand in this tile. Uh, that's your your home base and then what i did this entire uh, i tried to do the entire fight is hold your mouse over one of these tiles to try to avoid axes as much as possible if they spawn under you or if they're going to head towards you uh, i found it easier to hold my mouse over there and then switch to protect range when i heard the sound of the guy popping up or the saw the orange glow around him so that that was kind of my home base position you're just going to attack until he starts to do one of his special attacks or axes and the axes are always going to go you know across from where they start so they started in the corners they go to the corners you can see this guy popped up he makes a funny noise and uh, i just switched to protect from range until you hear the splat of his attack hit you then you can switch back to protect from melee um, so you're going to keep doing this until he's about half health. He'll only have two axes until then. He he can do another special attack. I think he does it here. Yeah, you just click the little red dots. Nothing too fancy there. Uh, try to stay as topped up as possible. So you can see there, one spawned, an axe spawned under me, and I saw that they were coming from the other corners there. So that's why I clicked on this one, so that I avoided all damage from the axe coming under me. And then these two are going to miss me as well. And then also this, you know, the head popped up at the same time. So I clicked over and then switched to protect from range and then back to home base here. And I'm going to hold my mouse over there. You can see me doing that again. And same thing, he spawned under me. So he can do that little attack uh, similar to the Phantom Muspa where he has the little uh, tentacles under the ground. Um, it's okay if you get hit by that. I mean, it's like 27 damage or something. It's, it's more important to avoid the axes and the prayer uh, canceling guy. So uh, it just kind of works out, though. If you're moving around, you're probably going to avoid the uh, those little um, tentacles that come out of the ground. So here's another one. I think I probably I messed this one up, but yeah, whatever. I got hit by an axe. It's not the worst end of the world if you get hit by one. Just eat back up to full. Try to watch what's going on at the same time and return to home base. And and then once he's you know below half health, then you can uh, spec him out to... The lower his health gets, I think the lower his defense gets, if I remember that right. So I, I wait until he's about half health, and he was a little bit under now. And then, you know, spec if you've got it. If not, it's it's also okay. While well, you're learning, it might be simpler to just forget the, the spec weapon and, and focus on not taking damage, honestly. is the uh, Not taking axe damage and not uh, getting your prayers disabled is the most important part of the fight. So uh, that's pretty much it. He's, he dies right after this, so there he goes. And uh, yeah, that's uh, I found this to be 
uh, the the melee guys, Duke Sicellus and this guy, I found to be way easier than uh, Leviathan and especially Whisper. So um, hopefully it works out uh, for you the same way because I think this guy is, is fairly profitable. So, all right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the uh, the next guide. The last one I think I have left is Leviathan. So we'll see you there.